Gervonta Tank Davis versus Hector Luis Garcia. As you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title of the video, this fight is official. <laughs> I gotta say, man, this this fight uh, was a surprise. I did not expect this fight. For a supposedly quote-unquote tune-up fight before the Ryan Garcia fight, here is uh, Gervonta Davis taking a, uh, a risky fight against an undefeated fighter uh, like Hector Luis Garcia. Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I do really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, fight will be taking place on the 7th of January, January 7, 2023. And as you guys can tell by the, uh, the poster, uh, it will be on pay-per-view, Showtime pay-per-view. So, um, so yeah, uh, tune into Showtime pay-per-view if you want to see it. Fight will be taking place here in uh, the DMV in the in DC, not necessarily the DMV, um, in DC uh, at the Capital One Arena. Um, I might go check it out because why not? It's right there. But um, if you guys know, I have a baby coming up, so uh, man, well, you gotta focus on the baby, right? Baby first, boxing second. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. This is a very good fight. Uh, because for, leading up to this, um, there were rumors floating around that Gervonta Tank Davis was gonna fight one of the Russell brothers, whether it's uh, Gary Antoine Russell or Gary Russell Jr. Um, you know, it, because Russell is from the DMV, and uh, when I say DMV, by the way, I don't mean the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles. I mean the DC, Maryland, Virginia region. Um, you know, I thought uh, that the, one of the Russell brothers was going to be his opponent. But instead, here he is fighting Hector Luis Garcia. I'm sure a lot of casual fans don't know who Hector Luis Garcia is. So if you don't know who he is, he's a 31-year-old fighter from the Dominican Republic. 16-0, um, 10 wins coming by way of Nakar Tiki. He's the current WBA Super Featherweight Champion of the World. Uh, 130 pounds. This fight, I believe, will be at 135 because the headline says WBA Lightweight World Championship and lightweight is 135 pounds. So I'm assuming Davis will be defending his uh, regular title, uh, the regular WBA title. Uh, Hector Luis Garcia is coming for a very good win against Roger Gutierrez where he won the world title. And before that, he uh, pulled off the big, uh, big win against Chris Colbert back in February of uh, this year. Um, stepping in last minute uh and pulling off that big win it was quite a shocker um you know a lot of people did not expect uh luis garcia hector luis garcia to to pull off what he did but he did and uh, he went on to win the world title and now here he is being given a big opportunity against a fighter like javante davis this is a risky fight man before brian garcia this is a risky fight um in my opinion uh, a little bit more about Hector Luis Garcia. He, like I said, he is the WBA champion, uh, one of the four champions right now at 130 pounds. So basically, Garcia, he's ranked number two by the Ring Magazine, by the way. Um, I guess number, yeah, number two because Shakur left. Valdez is considered number one by the Ring. But anyway, Garcia will be moving up from 130 to 135 pounds, the division that's currently held, ran by Devin Haney. Uh, when I say Tank has a regular belt, he has that secondary belt by the WBA. The real champion for the WBA is Devin Haney. For some reason, a lot of people still consider Tank a real champion. A lot of people don't realize that the belts that he's been fighting lately for were secondary belts. They were not for the real, real belt. Um, so, you know, this I feel like a lot of people just don't have that type the information uh, that hardcore boxing fans know. Uh, that Tank Davis isn't really the real champion. Just because, you know, Showtime says he's the champion, doesn't necessarily mean he's the real champion. David Haney is the real champion of the division. Um, but still, with that being said, whether it's a championship fight or not, um, it's still a very good fight. Uh, I know a lot of people will probably say, oh, Garcia is fighting, moving up in weight to 135 pounds. But I think it's okay. Um, I think it's fine. I think... Uh, you know, Gervonta is the A-side after all. Obviously, if Gervonta moves down to 130, that would uphace Gervonta more. Uh, but, you know, he's not. He's he's fighting in a weight he's more comfortable at, at 135. Um, 
it would be cool if he did move up move down to 130 and actually you know try to win that belt at 130 uh 130 pounds um but we'll see we will see anyway um looking forward to it january 7 2023 mark it down your calendars again it's going to be at the capital one arena <sighs> it's tempting man it's tempting but I, I gotta focus on the baby i gotta focus on the baby <laughs> Oh my goodness. And baby's going to be due around that time. It, it, it got uh, pushed back earlier. The baby's due date. So originally it was supposed to be February, but now it's January. So that's why it's like, ah. Yep. Cannot. Gotta, gotta focus on the baby. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.